From humble beginnings back in 2005, Harness the Hope has grown into a major annual event that has raised more than $130,000 for breast cancer research during that time. Doreen Dustin and her daughter Christy, both breast cancer survivors themselves, have been the driving force behind Harness the Hope, and we're looking forward to celebrating its 15th anniversary this year at their home track in London. As with many events, that all changed due to the pandemic. But never once to back down from a challenge, the Dustins were committed to keeping the event alive. When it comes right down to it, nobody planned for COVID, nobody plans for cancer. So we had to figure something out in order to raise funds this year and we chose to go virtual and do an online live show. So initially when my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer, um, it kind of was always in the back of our mind to uh, my sister and I to be very diligent and uh, look after ourselves and oddly enough, um, we didn't really expect uh, myself to be diagnosed either um, and that happened uh, two years ago. So, you know, we, we keep plugging away. There's continual doctor's appointments and cancelled surgeries and, um, but you know, when we do harness the hope, it, uh, it's our therapy and, you know, to know that we're helping others is, is why we do this. Harness the Hope normally is uh, an event here at the Raceway at Western Fair and um, you know it's, it's a night full of excitement, it's a sea of pink, um, a ton of people come out and support us. We've got grand prize draws and dinner in the top of the fair, um, auctions and we just get uh, so much support from donors and, and this year we just tried to do that uh, to take it all online. Growing up in the industry, my dad's Greg Dustin, most of you know him by Curly. And, um, you know, we have a love and a passion for horses and this just seems like a fitting event for our family. Um, you know, we, we want to introduce the sport to everyone around us and share how amazing these animals are and how amazing these people are in the community of harness racing. Um, so in order for us to do that, uh, Harness the Hope is, is, you know, a great tool. The support that we get from people in the harness racing industry is second to none. Um, if, if it could be messages uh, that we get on a daily basis or messages from other women that are going through this that, you know, if we can help them and make their journey through cancer easier. Um, we're always amazed at people in the industry. It, you know, it brings out the good in everybody and, uh, you know, we, we race against each other all the time but at the end of the day we all come together and we support one another. This year, you know, there was a point in time that we weren't even sure if we were going to continue this event. It's our 15th anniversary, um, but 15 years of hard work, we needed to carry on this legacy. We have other tracks uh, throughout Ontario uh, that were scheduled to have events this year, Clinton, uh, Leamington. We've also gotten uh, some interest from uh, Truro uh, last year as well after Prince Edward Island uh, launched their first year in Charlottetown. So. Um, you know, it's great to see the event grow. It started out small here in London and we've managed to, uh, you know, pick up some, um, some traffic and, you know, head across the country.